found us of among the kingdom. Igwe. What do we do now? Igwe, the tradition remains the same. No mortal changes the ordinance of the gods. Mbeke, your wife, will be sacrificed to the, to the gods at the evil forest. Since she could not bear you a son, for the king to marry another wife who will bear him on her, according to the tradition and customs of her land. Igwe, I disagree with Ishim Conti. Sisumbeke is vehemently insisting that the gods have promised her a son and her to the kingdom. We need not doom her. Let us still wait and give her more time. How long are we going to wait for Ingbeke and our promises from the gods? The baker I know can no longer conceive again, let alone bear a son for this throne. You are none of the gods, are you? She cannot lie to us in the name of the gods. So, let us wait. Stop it. Stop it! Hey, Julia, what are you talking about? Are you out of your senses? Huh? Huh? The king has to remarry. You see, the first wife could not bear him a son. And she's as, uh, seen as, uh, as an evil. Huh? She has to be, according to her custom, she must be sacrificed. So that the king cannot take in a new queen. Who will give an heir to the throne? Huh? Or don't you have eyes to see that the king is not getting any younger? Huh? Send words to Akrika. I want him here. Now! Akrika, for how long? For how long are we going to wait for the gods to know their minds concerning this peace-loving kingdom. Speak, mad peace of the gods. Igwe. When the gods suddenly go mute, two things are involved. It's either they have decided to punish men for the evil they have committed, or an inevitable event that will change destinies on its way coming. In my own case, since I, Igwe Onye, ascended the throne of my fathers, we have not offended the gods. All the annual sacrifices hold as at when due. All the timely rituals. I made sure we never omitted anyone. So, why would the gods go mute on us? Why would anyone believe that we have sinned against the gods? Igwe, I never said so. Do we then believe that an inevitable event that will change a lot of destinies is on the way? Gods of our land. Gods of our land. My great grandfather, Ojuku, had just one wife. And she gave birth to her first child. My grandfather, Agumba. Agumba had only one wife. And she gave birth to Ibubedike, my father. Ibubedike also had only one wife. And she gave birth to me. Why is my own story a different one? Gods of our land, tell me. Why? I have three wives. And none, none can give me a male child. None. Gods of our land! Gods of our land! It must be a male child this time! It must be a male child! Somebody to follow my line. Else, I will come to a total conclusion that the gods have perpetually denied me an heir. An heir! Somebody, gods of our land! Somebody to follow my line! Somebody to follow my line! 
Let it not be said that in my own time. Moko could not produce a great wrestler. No. Gods of our land! Gods of our land! It must be a male child this time! It must be a male child! Yes! happy tonight. Make the famous wrestler of Umoku village happy. Let that we come out of Umweke be a son. Put a smile on his face. Give him that which I, Olama, and Ugochi, my co-wife, could not give him. To Umweke, a son, an heir. He said, he said, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Nani, Nani, he said, son, he said, son, he said, male tie. Eh? Yes. What did he say, Moji? He said, male tie. Moji, what did he say? He said, male tie. He said, male tie. Maybe God's new price. May the gods be praised! I want to see my son! I want to see my son! May the gods be praised! I need to see my son! Moku! 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 Let's travel! Let's travel, you love! Let's travel! Moku! The gods! Moku! Moku, wake up! I have a son! I have a son! Hey! I have a son! Somebody to follow me! I want a son! And I've gotten a son! May the gods be praised! I have a son! Tell me what I need to hear! Olama! 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 This is to announce the arrival of Moki Ike! The son of Okoja! The son of Okoja! I have a son! Hey! 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 May the gods be praised! I have a son! Hey! May the gods be praised! Hey! I have a son! There's trouble in this land! I have a son! Hey! May the gods be praised! I have a son! I have somebody to take over from me! Hey! I have a son! I have a great son! A great son! Somebody to take over from me! There's trouble! Hey! Hey! Okay, <laughs> okay, my son. <laughs> Look at his eyes. I can see light in your eyes. I can see light. <laughs> nice. Mm? Oh, um. <laughs> You're the one that brings light into my life. <laughs> Be mama. Mm? And you know, darkness cannot prevail against light. <laughs> Mm. Mm. You know, I was wondering mm. if I had given birth to Gabriel, mm. what would you have done? The unimaginable. The gods cannot deny me a male child. <laughs> I know that. 
I am so happy that I am the one who is first to give you a son. And, and that's because you're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and people used to say you're my last wife. But I tell them there's something I see in you that a lot of people do not see. <laughs> Abogidi! Abogidi, the great one! To what do I owe this visit? The river that flows down cannot flow back unless a wild wind alters its movements. I know that. Evil! Evil! That if not removed now shall bring calamity to the entire people of Umoku. And what has that evil got to do with me? I smell that evil right in this hut. I smell it. It is so close. So close. The only evil I know is your presence and your unannounced visit to my compound, Abogidi. Tell me, eyes of the gods, what is it? That which is born to you is the evil thing which must be removed or else it destroys you and the people of Umoku. I don't know what you're talking about, Abogidi. I do not. It is only foolishness that will let the child run onto the open jaws of a smiling tiger. And who is the child? And who is the smiling tiger? Eyes of the gods tell me. The child is you! And the smiling tiger is that baby, which must be removed within seven days. My son, will. Yes. Hi! Umoku! My only son! Eyes of the gods! My only son to be removed! Ah! Are the gods playing a trick on me? Are the gods playing a trick on me? What did it say about our son? Now he talks to me. What did it say about our son? What do you say about our son? Hey? Nay. Nay, talk to me. Nay, talk. Nay. What do you want from me, Woku? Nay, please, I don't want to talk to you. What do you say about our son? Listen. Listen to me. Listen, do not move out of this compound. Do not move. Go right into the house and stay with my son. Go, I'm coming. <laughs> Why is Monkey crying? I'm not going to lose here. I'm not going to Strange.
mountain of leadership from me. Hey! Hey, Mogu! Tell me what my ears want to hear! Talk to me! Hey! Our father is not happy again. But he has been in a very good mood since the arrival of our half brother Mukiki. Why the sudden change of mood? I don't know. Oh. What is going on? We saw Papa on our way returning from the stream, but he wouldn't talk to us. My daughter, go in with your sister and drop your water pot. Talk to me, me. No one knows yet. Huh? Just that Abogiri was here. I'm not doing her. We saw Papa on the way coming back to the stream. It is really not that he was coming to our father's compound. Go, 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 go and drop your pots. Go and drop your pots. And um, how do we handle this issue? I mean, how do we go about it? Hmm. The words of Agbogiri are the words of the gods. Hmm. And the words of the gods, no one disputes. No one, honestly. A young man who mostly needed his son yeah. and later had one at, at his point of happiness. Hmm. What do we do? What are we going to tell him? Hmm. Hmm. What do you tell him? Hmm. This is a very serious issue. Very serious issue. Hmm. Here he comes. <laughs> hey, that's of Umoku. I greet you. You are welcome. Um, no, no, but you're welcome. Abogiri was in my hut a while ago. Um, he brought the news to us before proceeding to your hut. Elders. Elders. Opoja, we hear you. Opoja, I have come to tell you that I, Opoja, the son of Ebubidike, the son of Agumba, the son of Ojuku, will never allow anyone to lay a hand on my son, Okike. I do not care. I don't. Whatever the gods of sin, whatever calamity, the birth of my son will bring to Umoku, I'd rather live with it than to live without his son. I have spoken. Opoja, Opoja, wait. Do not be in a haste to leave us. Wait first and hear from us. Whatever you want to say, say it now. Because I am running out of patience. And where there is no patience, there is no time. And where there is no time, there is no space. Okpoja, Tajo, the great wrestler of our time. Tajo! Okpoja, no cage jemba. Look, what a child cannot see, climbing the tallest Iroko tree, Another sees it while sitting on the floor. The apple you eat and he empties your mouth of all the teeth in it and your tongue as well is not a good apple. Mm -hmm. eh? It must be the forbidden apple. Spare me! Oh, Boja. No one is happy that your uh, uh, only son, the long awaited son, the next wrestler of Omoku village, is being taken away from us. No! Nobody! But mind you, we are both mortars, yeah. limited to what we can see now. It's only the gods that have the power to see the unseen and to foretell the future. Then ask the gods! Ask them! Why? My only son! My only son, Wukike! My only son! If you are in my place, how would you feel? Tell me! Tell me, Moku, tell me! Eh? Lazy! Lazy! Oja! Oja! I am still on Boja. I am still on Boja. I am still the closest wrestler from the land of Umoku. Yes, I am. I am on Boja. Yes. Tell that to the gods. And they know it. Yes. Listen to voice of reason.
di mama o ke mara mo biko nothing is what depriving you of your night's sleep the cock has just crowed a second time and you are still awake please the gods the gods have taken away sleep from my eyes a man with a heart as heavy as mine dares not to sleep dare not to lay his head to sleep he should not he cannot one you can because time is the greatest healer there is no wound in the soul and body that cannot be healed what is only required from you is time and that is why i am urging you to give yourself some time now please come to bed my lord you do not understand woman you talk as if i'm dreaming i wish it is a dream I wish that when I wake up, Wogike still remains my son. How I wish it was a dream. Who knows? You might wake up the next morning and you find out that all these are just a nightmare. Please, my love, come to me. Salachi. Good morning. Good morning. Come and sit down. Yeah. How is my son working? Okay? Your son is sleeping, my husband. Uwam. Timoma. Uwam. Timoma. What are we going to do? My husband. To tell you the truth, I cannot imagine giving out my own son, my only son, to be sacrificed at the evil forest. But no. What are we going to do? Tell me, what are we going to do? Dean, eh? the thought of it alone makes me want to die. Hi! Hey, how about these words are not mere words? They are not mere words. Our future with our son. It is loom and doom. My husband, there is nothing wrong with our future. Nothing. Our son, Mukike, has come to bring us joy and happiness. Hey. Nothing more than that. Hey. Biko. Biko. Say no to your decision, Biko. Biko. Man. 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 Man is a clay in the hands of the gods. Timoma, be cold. Eh? 
and the gods going against our agreement. Now, let me not take the silence of the gods for your shoes. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do now? Huh? Hey! Hmm. Gucci. The gods are wise. They are supreme. There must be something evil about the coming of Mokike that the gods want to offer. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I know. How will Mike let go of her son? Our heir. And how would you dare think that Nani will let them take his only son to be sacrificed in the evil earth? Gods alone know how. They know how. My please, my please, allow me to go, Pico. Uh, let me look at my son. God, the gods. Forget the gods, man. Listen, I will never return to this village again until he's raised to a man, Pico. Hey. Now your son will not see you. My <laughs> only son! Now will you set your eyes on him all the days of his life? Oh, please, let him live for me. Calamity. He will not come back to Moku again. Calamity! Calamity! He will not come back to Moku again. Moku will not know calamity through him. Pico, let me go before the day. Let me see my son again. Let me see his right ear. See his right ear.
there for me! They are there for me! He's a prince. That he's the next in line to rule this community. And that he's never to be found wanting in this palace. He should always be here to learn the ways of nobility and learn the do's and don'ts of royalty. My lord, I know I've been telling him, but I, I just believe he will change soon. Please. He has better. Yes, my lord. Hey, why were you watching my nakedness? And what is wrong with that? Oh, if you could. Hey, thank the gods that the guys are not here to listen to this thing that you just said. Or don't you know that it is a taboo for you to see your elder sister's nakedness? Eh? Oh, thanks to the gods that the guys were not here. That the hilltop waiting. Hmm. Okay. So, won't you have your bath? No, no. I just came around to watch you. You know, I don't like who's inside of you. It's <laughs> you. Okay. In that case, I am done. Let's go. Let's go then.
I greet you, Father. Mother, I greet you. And where are you coming from? From the stream, Father. Where is it? How many times do I need to remind you that as a prince of this kingdom, you are not to be wanton in the palace? How many times do I need to tell you that you are a man? Stop running about with your sister. A man's place is not in the kitchen. A man does not have any work at the quickened place. But father, I was only trying to ensure her safety. Don't tell me that. She has guards appointed unto her. It is the duty of the guards, not yours, to ensure her safety. I'm sorry, Father. I do not want to repeat myself on this issue again. You will not, Father. Come, my son. That is a rightful place. Thank you, Father. Hey, Diane, is it true that Obuala Opera is back now? Oh no, Budaya. Please stop playing with that. So, Obuala Opera is nothing to play with at all. Biko, I am not playing at all. I even heard that he came and attacked Mazu Ozo's son last night. Stop that. I'm not here. It is true, my sister. Oh. <laughs> Obo Obara came back again. After the warriors of Umunkiti waged war with him and overpowered him 20 years ago, <laughs> my father told me that. I have not seen that monster before. But the stories I heard about it are so terrifying that I vowed never to set my eyes on it all my life. My sister, you don't have to. What baffles me is that, in this part of the earth, it is only in Umunkiti Kingdom that uh, this so-called Obuarobara loves performing his wonders. I have never heard of anything called um, Obuarobara in other kingdoms. Why? Why, you ask your majesty? You will. The gods of this land the only people that can provide answers to this your question. Mm. Well, in the meantime, I think what we should now be talking about is how to actually deal with this blood-sucking monster once and for all, so that it will never, never again, I mean, come to this kingdom again. <laughs> how else? How else? Why do we have trained warriors equipped with spears and shields in this kingdom? We have to summon the kid the warriors again. This time, not just to drive the, the monster away, but to, to, to kill it. Good, good, good. What is it, woman? Even <laughs> my daughter. Even my daughter was taken by Obua Robara on her way from the stream this afternoon. Even. Hey! <laughs> Obuarobara has been a threat to this kingdom since the days of my fathers. But I have vowed to put an end to its menace. It must not continue in the time of my son. My son must not witness this. 
Therefore, I urge you all to go into the forest and fetch the body of that Obua Robara. Bring it to me. If you can do this, I will give to each one of you a plot of land and a maiden of your choice as wife. Igwe, I and the rest of the warriors promise three days from today to deliver the dead body of that monster to your palace. Very good. You may rise. You may go. Igwe. This is the fourth day. Why haven't you brought it to me? Igwe, we are trying as much as possible to catch it. But it keeps escaping from us. We need more time. Time is what we don't have. The people of Omonkete Kingdom are living in fear, like a kindred besieged. For how long are we going to continue like this? Igwe, we have sent it into the mountain. It cannot destroy or terrorize anyone. I don't want it sent away. I want it dead. Not sent away. I want Obua dead! Igwe, we need more time. We will fetch it out from the mountains and destroy it. That I promise you. There is no food in this house, so. And what does that mean? Am I going to cook with my ring? There is no water in this house and nobody to fetch water. Where are your children? Where did they go to now? Everybody is afraid. Or didn't you hear the town crier? Everybody's scared now. Nobody wants to die. Talking as if he does not know what's happening. Nine. Where are you going? And where does it look like I'm going to? Hey! Nine, you don't go alone, no. Nine!
Will you, will you, will you just calm down and tell us what it is? Oh, oh no, wait a minute. He, he, he came out. Onye? I saw him. Who? Who came out? Yeah, from here. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Where is my son? Where is the prince? He took him. Hey! Hey! They are the guys that went with you. God! God! Go and get my son from the hands of that person. And do not come back here without my son alive. Go! I want to go with him! I want to go with him! I want to go with him! The prince of Homo Nketi Kingdom has been taken away by Obua Robara. Hey! Hey! Now, go and summon the warriors. All of them. I need them all to go and get my son from that monster. Your Highness, the problem is that even before the warriors were assembled here, the monster would have devoured his prayer. No! Never! He is a prince of this kingdom. The monster can never devour my son. Now, go and do what I ask you to do. Gods of ancestors, where are you? die. Never! If he dies, who will be king when I'm no more? He cannot die! He cannot die! Never! I said it! He is alive! My son is alive! My son is alive! I said it! I killed him! I killed him my bare hands! What is that? What is that? Where are you? What is that? Now we can't be praised! No. <laughs> we can't be praised! Oh! I killed it! I killed it with my bare hands! Yes, you did!
I knew it! Akrika the Great said it. That an event that would change the destinies of many was on the way. Then, Mweze was not far. Today, that prophecy is fulfilled before our own very eyes. That dreaded monster that threatened the lives of the entire Omonkete kingdom was silenced by just one man. My people, today, a hero is born. A strong warrior is raised in the royal family. Join me. May we all hail the hero of our time, Prince Weze, Obuago One of Omonkete Kingdom. I do not have any Give other family. Space. Leave it! I don't have any family! <sighs> My family has been taken away from me unjustly. Mwokeike. Mwokeike, my son! Mwokeike, my son! Mwokeike, my world! My life, they are dead. They are dead. What family are you talking about again, woman? Tell me. Uh. <coughs> Nani, you are drunk. Uh. You are drunk. Don't give me two things. Give it! Do not! I can see conspiracy waiting all over your face, woman. You are the one that is drunk. You are drunk! <coughs> Do you? Mm. It's a wine. <laughs> this is the only thing that gives me happiness now. Such a thing has never been heard or witnessed in our community. It is strange for anyone to believe that what is happening now is ordinary. No, it is not ordinary at all. People are dying. People are. Elders, I greet you. Get up and tell us what brought you here. What I saw, my mouth cannot talk. 
Young man, speak up. There is nothing the eye will see that will make it share blood instead of tears. Yes. That wine tapper was tapping his wine near my heart. So suddenly, the ete cut off and he fell down and died. Mm. This is getting out of hand. Though. Yes. Oh. There is dead body by now. He's still at the foot of the pantry. Go with some young men and bring his dead body here. Okay. Uh, go. go and bring the cops here. of our face, of this our community, is entirely our own responsibility if we fail to offer solution to the problem at hand, then we have failed in our duties as the leaders of this community. My confusion is why Agbogiri has not come to tell us about this plague that has been ravaging the whole village. Is he not aware? Are the gods not aware of the plague? A woman with a boil in her hands does not see that wait for anybody. We have sat and waited for a book long enough. This is time for us to go to him. He has to tell us the cause of this calamity. I think that things are getting out of hand. We should go and meet him. Yes, you are right. We should go. Let, 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 let us go. Hey. We have waited so long for the gods to talk to us about the plague in the land. 
since the gods have refused to visit us, we have decided to visit the gods. Abogidi, the eye of the gods. Abogidi, the mouthpiece of the gods. Tell us what we need to hear. Hmm. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Only a dark cloud hovering over the entire village of Fumu. That is why we are here. The dark cloud. We don't need to be told that the dark cloud represents a plague that is hovering all over Umoku village. I can't see any plague. Only the cloud. I can't see any plague. I go get it. People are dying in their numbers on a daily basis. And you are telling us you can't see the plague. Is it until when the entire Umoku community is wiped out? That is when you see the plague? I have spoken. I cannot say what I did not see. Who is that? It's me, Gucci, your wife. <sighs> what do you want? Nani, it has pertained to me as it pertains to women. Nani, I want you to make me feel like a woman so that I can give you an heir, a son. You? Yes, Nani. You give me a son. How were you feeling before? Out! 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 <laughs> Fools. Fools. Obocha. Obocha. There is no time. It is spiritual. The gods. The gods are wise. Uh.
I can't find Neka. Did she tell you where she was going? No, but I'm sure she must be very close. My son, father, do whatever you have to do. Fast. I'm here waiting for you. Thank you, father. I'm coming. Let me show her. Greetings, my friend. Where is Neka? She's there, my friend. What is she doing there and why are you not with her? Uh, she asked me to leave them, my prince. Them? Yes, my prince. Who is she with? Can't you talk? My prince, a, a young man, my prince. What? Nobody like me to have anything to do with you. That is your problem. Who told you you are nobody? Hmm? My princess, I am no royalty. And I'm a commoner like every other commoner. <laughs> Just stop it. Hmm? Neka! 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 What are you doing here? Can't you say that someone? What is the meaning of this madness? Mweze, are you out of your mind? You asking me? I can see you now lack respect. Oh, have you forgotten that I am two years older than you? Have you? Who is that young man? What gave you the right to do what you just did? Let me tell you something. If the cat deserves an apology from you, you have to go out there, apologize to him, else I will never speak to you again. Yes. Yes. Now, go out there and apologize to him. No way! As long as I remain the prince of Omonkite Kingdom, I will do no such thing. I have every right to do what I did. You do not have any right, none whatsoever, to do what you did. I am your brother. I am protecting you. I don't need your protection. And I don't need your stupid brotherly love either. Get, Get out! Why are you doing this to me now? If you know what is good for you, better go back to your hut and leave me alone. What is bringing all this? Is it because of that boy? That's good for nothing boy, you want to put an enmity between us? <laughs> Where's the Kanjukane? Let me ask you. Are you going to marry me? You see, there's... Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Answer me. Will you marry me tomorrow? So you want that boy to marry you? Stop getting unnecessarily jealous anytime you see me with a man, okay? We are family and we can never get married. And the earlier you get it into your head, the better for you. Okay, okay, fine, fine, good, good. No problem. I won't encroach, I won't intrude, and I won't be jealous again. No problem. Well, that is your problem, not mine, okay? Please. Get out of my room, I want to sleep.
Idika, strong man of woman Kete Kingdom. My princess, if you address me as such, what then do you call your brother, the prince of woman Kete Kingdom? Greetings. <laughs> the strength of a man is his ability to control his anger and curb his emotions and not his physical display of energy. Uh, that? Yes, that. I want to apologize to you for my brother's attitude to you the other day. Please, forgive him. My princess, you, you, you don't need to. I, I've already forgiven him. I mean, do I have a choice? That is why I called you a strong man. Anyway, let me not distract you from your work. If I need to see you, I know where to find you. Take care. See you around. The next time I will see you talking to my sister, I will personally strangle you to the death like I did with the Warabara. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Yes, my Try me next time. Try me. Maybe you deserve it. No, no. I'm sorry. I told you I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Yeah? I promise you I will never do such thing again. Okay? Since you've been this hostile to me, I've not been myself. You know the kind of love we have? <laughs> this your brotherly love is getting out of hand. Maybe you should calm down a bit, please. Uh -uh. <laughs> You're my brother, not my suitor. I'll be in my heart. Have my kaduko. For anyone to think or say that we have to continue to wait on Abogi on the issue at hand is nothing but insanity. I can't believe it. How Abogi will be so calm and make us believe that everything is well. Why in our very eyes, Umuku village is coming to an end gradually? No, we cannot continue to wait on Abogi. We have to do something now. In our neighboring village of Umunkite, are they not see us? That serves the deity of the land? Yes. Yeah. We have to take a step right now. Yes, we I think we're right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm. 
我难接起来，我难接起来。嗯嗯，噜噜噜。哎，阿拉马龙难接起来，阿拉马龙难接起来。哈哈哈哈哈哈！啊，我是那我娘，我到肚皮面那么娘嘞！哎呀，嗯。Elders of Umuoku Village, Akrika, Akrika. What I see is all calamity. Calamity. Onye na juve kula ko ibo miline no de ko ya juzi no. The gods are angry, very, very angry. The blood of an innocent woman seeks vengeance, and until her death is avenged, death. Death and death awaits Umoku village. Akrika. Hmm. Akrika. I was in Egypt. I can never know who I am. I am not one of them. I am not one of them. I am not one of them. Akrika. Hmm. Akrika, the eye of the gods. Who was that woman that was unjustly killed? How can we locate the killer in order to avenge for her death? In three days. In three days, the evil shall be located. Those that strange things shall be. Appear on their bodies. Make them to confess their evil. Ugochi strange illness has gone out of hand. Please, we need to do something. Olama, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? There is a plague in the land. Umoku is cursed. Everybody is dying. Eh? Yes. But the people that died, they all died at once without delay. Hush. She's three days now. She is strong and healthy. Her breast is getting bigger and bigger every moment. What do you want me to do, Olama? What do you want me to do? Eh? Do you want me to cut my testicles away? Give it to you. Grind it for you to eat before you understand it is spiritual, woman. It is spiritual. Nani, Can't you see? Nani, hey! Nani, please. Please. Just follow it. Come and take a look at her, please. Look at what? Everybody is dying. I told you it is spiritual. It is spiritual. Eh? Umoku! Goji! Confess! Confess you that trouble is the entire village of Umoku! Confess now! Goji! Olama! Goji! Nani! The people of Umoku village! I'll go first. Go first. You go first. I'll go first.
Ugo, Ugo, I, I, I've been waiting for you. Ah, my lord, huh? I'm going um, I'm sorry. We have to be very fast, eh? I'm expected to be in my husband's office this night. Uh, you, know, you know I hate such talk. Eh? When, when, when you know, you suddenly ran away to that wrestler because he's famous, mm. and yet, and, and you're denying me of uh, of the pleasures that I should get. I'll go get huh? you, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to do something for me. Yes. He's been torturing me, and what? if you do it, mm -hmm. all this thing, natural endowment, <laughs> will be yours forever. Anytime you want it. Name it. Name it. <laughs> and I will do it. <laughs> I need to be the first to give my husband a son. Am, am I the gods who give the fruit of the womb? I'm only their spokesman. I know that. I will get it. But we can still do something about it. <laughs> like what? I will get it. Mm. The great Dibia. Mm. The man who's what everybody fears. <laughs> yeah. No one challenges you in this village. You're like the second god in this village. Everybody fears you. <laughs> if the new pregnant wife, Mweke, gives birth to a male child, I need you to tell the people that the child is evil and needs to die. How, how, how do you expect me to say such a thing if, 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 if the gods have not spoken? Huh? Look. Don't, don't push me to a fight with the gods. Is that what you're saying? Adam, I am living. But, you see this whole natural endowment, you will never see it again. <laughs> I'm oh, going. Oh, no, come, 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 look, look, look. Don't do that to me, please, you go, man. Huh? Don't do that to me. I, I'm, I'm a man with blood running in his veins, too. I'm Munyege. Am I your wife? Your wife is at home waiting for you. You and I know that it was in my plan to take you in as a second wife. Hmm. But you ran away and suddenly married that, uh, that, that wrestler. And you will finally lose me if you fail to do what I ask you to do. The choice is yours. Good night. Oh, come up, come up. Come, Ugo, Biko, come now. Come, come. Uh, I am on fire, please, come. Hey. Umaku! Hey! Umaku! wake up! I have a son! I have a son! Hey! I have a son! Somebody to follow me! I want a son! And I've gotten a son! May the gods be praised! How did you know I was going to be here tonight? Well, I was going to see my family tonight, but I did not finish with my chores, so I decided to stay back. My instincts told me you'd be here. I hope all is well. All is not well. My co-wife, Mweke, has given birth to a son, an heir. <laughs> that was the song of the gun that I was hearing early this morning. Mm -hmm. So the gods have finally smiled on Oboja. Another fine wrestler has been born to the people of Umuoku.
Uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, please, uh, Ugom, please cover your nakedness. Someone could be watching us. Abobide, it's just you and I here. All this will be yours tonight and every other night. Only if you do what I ask you to do. God forgive me. I'm, I'm a mere mortal. Please God forgive me my weakness. I'm, I'm a mere mortal. The God should forgive me. The river that flows down cannot flow back unless a wild wind alters its movement. Evil, evil, that if not removed now, shall bring calamity to the entire people of Umoku. What has that evil got to do with me? I smell that evil right in this hut. I smell it. It is so close, so close. The only evil I know is your presence and your unannounced visit to my compound, Abu Gidi. Tell me, eyes of the gods. What is it? That which is born to you is the evil thing which must be removed or else it destroys you and the people of Umoku. I don't know what you're talking about, Abukiti. I do not. It is only foolishness that will let the child run onto the open jaws of a smiling tiger. And who is the child? And who is the smiling tiger? Eyes of the gods tell me. The child is you! And the smiling tiger is that baby, which must be removed within seven days. My son, will you? yes. Hi! Ugoji, you killed my only son. My only son, Wokike. Hey! The male child I've waited for all my life. You killed my world, my wife, Ugoji. Why? I'll kill you! 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 i don't soil your hand with our blood. <laughs> Let the gods take vengeance. Yes, please. Oh, Boja. Oh, Boja. Let's go and beat it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Yes. Moku, what else do you want? Oh, me what else do you want from me, Moku? She is after you. Give it to yes. her. You must die. You must die. You will carry this load. Abogidi, so you are the one that troubles the land. Today your sins have found you out. Your blood shall be on your own head and not on ours. Yes. The blood of the innocent must be avenged. Yes. Warriors will take both of them into the evil forest and kill them. Mm. Yes, they have to die so that the anger of the gods can be appeased. Yes. Huh? Let's 
She conspired and killed my son. She killed Moki Ike. My son. And my wife. I will never forgive myself. I will never forgive myself for bringing her into my life and making her my wife. I will never. Nani, it's okay. You are a man. The courts will never leave you empty-handed without a son. How? How, woman? Tell me. You How? Say, Nani, you get another maiden. <laughs> Let me give you a son. <laughs> it is spiritual. I will never marry again. I will never marry again. Now you need, you need someone that will bear your name. What am I marrying for again, woman? Eh? Haven't I done enough evil to myself? Haven't I done enough evil to myself by marrying numerous wives? Haven't I? What else is there again, woman? Tell me. You have to take another wife. That will bear you a son, Nan. Okay, okay. Now that the evil has been taken away from us, hey. and in our very eyes, the plague ceases, people are no longer dying. Now, how do we replace the chief priest? It is not our duty to replace Agbogidi. Let the gods choose who we serve them. Huh? Yes, what we should be discussing now is how to appease Opoja, our wrestler, for the unjust way his wife and so on, we are taken away from him. I think he deserves much more for the people of Umoku. If all of us should come with one mind and one voice, making king over us, hmm. the three elders representing the three kindred of Umoku mm -hmm. should be part of his ruling council. Um, we will look into that, but not now. Hey. Huh? You say so? What are you boys doing on this land? Don't you know it's our time to farm on this land? Yes. Your turn? Yes. But two monkeys and two monkeys agree that it's two monkeys time to farm on this land this season. Your turn and last, last farming season, which makes it our turn to farm on this land? Yes. I urge you to live here. Or you leave me with no choice than to use violence on you. Oh, we are not going anywhere. We are not going anywhere. Our turn still extends to this season. It's after this season that it shall be Moku's turn to farm. Mm. The stubborn fly would always end in the grave. I advise you to live here with these boys or else! Or you leave me with no choice than to use violence on you all. I should be the one advising you to go and make inquiries from the elders of Umoku before seeking for a fight. I need not make any inquiry! We are the youths of this kingdom! Yes! You are trespassing and you leave me with no choice. Boys! Yes! Boys! Yes! Get them! Get them! Again. Again. Another life wasted. Eh? Killing another innocent blood unnecessarily over that piece of land. No! No. Your Majesty, the last time we all gathered here, we decided and agreed to use that farmland turn by turn. Mm -hmm. Last planting season was your turn. Why should men from your village come to farm on that land this season when we all had agreement? Mm -hmm. The agreement said 
two planting seasons, not one. No, you are wrong. Two. Two, no, two no, no, not no, no, one. Two. No, 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 no. What are you telling me? Two. Two. We need to find a way whereby that land will go to one of the kingdoms permanently. So that either Munkete or Umwoku will take over that piece of land. I want these fightings and arguments to stop. Who then decide on this? Mm -hmm. We shall decide on that now. All of us. How? Go and get the best wrestler from your village. We shall get the best wrestler from Umunkete Kingdom. They shall fight. The winner of that fight, his kingdom shall take over that piece of land permanently so that these fightings will end for good. Do you agree? So be it. I think the decision of Pull of Umukiti is good. But the problem is, how do we convince Okwaja to go into the wrestling contest? Now that you know that it is sorrow, can oh. we convince him? That is a very big audience before us now. Yeah. But whichever way we have to convince him, because we know that if we convince him and he agreed to go for that fight, then that land has become our land. Mm -hmm. Because we know that no man, but of a woman, can ever throw a project in a wrestling match. Mm -hmm. I'm sure of that. I think uh, you are right. Uh, you see, I think that. This is where the idea of crowning him our king comes in. Really? We are going to tell him that we will make him our king seven days after the fight. Hmm. <laughs> that, that is a brilliant idea. It is really brilliant. Yeah, it's it's a good idea. idea. No one will go for that. <laughs> he will, he will. <laughs> so your brain is functioning properly. We know we have sinned against you, but it was not our collective intention to hurt you. Two of us with evil intentions did, and the gods have exposed them, and we have given them required punishment, which is death. Please, we beg you again, in the name of our Madioha, the great deity of this land, forgive us, elders. If you know the reason why you summoned me to this place, please make it known to me. I don't see any reason starting afresh and asking me of forgiveness over the same forgiveness you've asked for in the past. Well, Okwacha, without much delay, <clears throat> Okwacha the great wrestler, <clears throat> the elders of Umokiti and the elders of Umoku village, decided in a meeting that the land at the boundary between the two villages be given to the village whose wrestler will throw the other in a fight. We know you have remained the unbeatable wrestler. So we are calling on you to come and give us that land. And we know you can do it. Yes. I can see conspiracy written all over your faces. Now you remember me in my anguish and sorrow. Did any of you come to me when I lost my son? Did any of you console me? No one. Even before now, I have vowed not to be seen fighting again. Not even to entertain a or for a tussle. I, Akwaja, will never be seen fighting until I join my ancestors. You cannot take such decision. You cannot. I have already taken it. No, boss. Okoja, not when we have decided to make you king over Umoku seven days after the fight. Exactly. Eh? Exactly. <laughs> My son, in the whole of Umonkete Kingdom, there is none as strong and as brave as you are. We all know about the famous resting family in Umuoku Kingdom. But with what I see in you and what I believe in you, I know that you can match Mukike of Umuoku Kingdom. 
Therefore, go. Win this fight and give us the land. Father, if the gods are willing, I will make you happy. <laughs> I will make you happy. The gods are already willing, my son. <laughs> go and make us happy. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for this fight? Of course, I'm ready. I heard that your opponent from Umoku village is a great wrestler. And he has been a great wrestler from his youth. I also heard that his lineage has produced a lot of great wrestlers that nobody has ever won in a fight. Is this the kind of person you want to fight? You never believed I'll come back alive after the Werribee incident. I not only came back alive, I devoured the monster. That is the same way I'm going to win this fight. You talk with great confidence. Sure, because my instincts have already told me so. Well, I'll be happy if you win the fight. <laughs> and I'll be so glad to make you happy. <laughs> I pray that the gods go with you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Kitty, this is where the fight starts for today. Why? Yes, Why? there is a tie, and no one wins the other. Yes, the fight continues in the next AK Market day. He missed. You should have been there. Hey, what belief? What belief? If you see them, the way they were gripping themselves, their muscles were just bulging. What belief? Once they would have thrown him on the ground. Hey, but night came and they shifted it and he ran away. <laughs> Don't worry. You see this one, eh? eh? Where is that? Eh. He's a strong man. Hey! Oh, Siri, can we have him? He's a strong man. Strong man. He is a strong man. Oh, well, <laughs> I know my son. <laughs> oh, Mam <I'm> Cobb. <laughs> Where is it? My father. <laughs> this is the first time that you went on a wrestling match. And you were able to hold Okpoja, that famous wrestler, to a tie. <laughs> that tells me that by the time you meet again, it will be a different story. Okpoyalu. As we earlier know, whether we threw him, I believe I know. Thank you very much, Father, for believing in me and for trusting me. 
Oh, you're welcome. Ha! Thank me too now. I believe in you. Oh. Okay, see you, Sorry. Thank you, my lovely sister, for your moral support. <laughs> we all believe in you. Nani, wash your hand and eat your food. I am not hungry, woman. What is your problem? I am not hungry. No, Nani. You cannot come back after an all-day wrestling match and tell me you are not hungry. Please. You need food. In the Nani. history of this village, in the history of this village, it has never been heard that a wrestler born into this family was held to a tie. Who is that young man? Who is that boy that held me to a draw? I, Okoja, the son of Ebubedike, the grandson of Agumba. Ah, it is an error. It is spiritual. Now, like some days are like that. I remember you are getting old. Please eat your food. Ah! Some days are not like that, woman. Some days are not like that. No man born of a woman. No man born of a woman can stand. Our unique ways, our power in a fight. No one. I heard a nanny. But still, you need to eat your food. I am not hungry, woman. I do not deserve any food. I do not deserve any food. Hey! I do not deserve any food for bringing shame to my forefathers. I brought shame to the land of Umoku. To my forefathers. Go with your food. Go with your food, woman. Go with your food. Yesterday's fight was really, really very strange. Mm. No wonder Igonya was the first to bring up the suggestion. They already have a champion among them. Story have it that that young man single handedly killed the ancient monster, Ogua Robara. Is that so? That is the stories everywhere. That boy must have been endowed with supernatural strength. No endowment of his should have made him throw up a I believe Okoja must have woken up from his slumber by now. He should. He just went there and disgraced himself. <laughs>
Let me see my son again. Hey. Let me uh, see his right ear. special child. The people of Omonkete will never forget the day you were born into this land. My people, let us rejoice. Bring in the dancers, the drummers, kill the fattest cow. Let us eat and be merry because today, my son, the prince, he has brought in victory into this land of Omonkete kingdom. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking and nobody's listening to me. Nobody's listening to me. That boy is my son. I saw him. Walking case, my son. I saw the mark. The mark on this right here. That boy is my son, Wokike. I have seen him. Umogu! I have seen my lost son, Wokike. Hey! What am I even doing here? What am I doing here? Wokike is my son. Wokike is my son. Is it true that the young man uh, threw, our, uh, threw down our almighty Oboja in a fight today? Oh, that. Hmm. I already knew he would lose the fight. Since the death of Oboja's wife, Oboja has not been himself. Um, but they said the young man has uh, supernatural abilities. He killed uh, Ubu Arobla hmm. with his bare hands. Hmm. Even after that, he wouldn't have won the fight if Oboja was full of myself. No, I cannot be going to go down. It has already, already been done. I cannot be going to go down. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. 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 Okay. No! No! This is not happening to us! So... This is how we come to lost that piece of land to pull a woman kitten. Oh, watch out! Why? Why? Ah, the mighty father. Eh? I was talking and nobody was listening. What were you saying? Nobody was saying. What against my son? Yes. Your son? I was talking and nobody was listening to me. That boy is my son. What is my son? How can you say that? When we all know that we are son was drowned in the Yika River 25 years ago. I do not know about that. I don't know about that. I gave him a mark behind his right ear. And I saw it with my two eyes. A mark? It wasn't an ordinary mark. A and mark? I know what I'm talking about. Can't you see the resemblance? No other family in this part of the earth can produce strong wrestlers like me. Did you see that boy? <laughs> Did you see his broad shoulders? He took after his father. I, Ocha, and his grandfather, Ibubi Dike. Elders, don't you have eyes? Can't you see? Hey, Umoku, what else do you want from me? Tell me. Umoku, didn't you see my son? Hey! Hey! Tell me! 
people of Umwoku, what can I do for you? Igwe Onya of Umonkete, we've come to collect what belongs to us that is in your custody. <laughs> the land? <laughs> Now listen to me, Opoja. Even if you fight my son a hundred times, he will win you a hundred times. Igwe, he is not your son. He is my son. My flesh and my blood. And I'm here to take that which belongs to me. How dare you? What gave you the right, the audacity to call him your son? And you stay before me to utter such, such blasphemy. Igwe, 25 years ago, my wife gave birth to my son. An evil man dared to kill him out of jealousy. And my wife asked me if she can escape with my son. And I gave a mark to this little baby. A mark on his right ear. A mark of a star because I knew he was going to be a star. Mm -hmm. yes. Igwe, the prayer of every good father is for his son to be great. Igwe, pray for your son to be greater than you are. He's my son! And even if he wrestles with me a billion times, Igwe, it is spiritual because I let it go. Mm -hmm. Elders, my community. Right. My son. What? Mweke, what happened? What happened? M my lord, 25 years ago, when you, you, your, your, your kinsman w w wanted to sacrifice me to evil forest, um, b because of my in inability to ha have a son for you, uh, I... M m Why do you fold your arms and allow them to take me to my death? The gods have promised me a son. Please give me more time, Nabi Kodo. Tradition was there before my time. There is nothing I can do. Akrika, what are we still waiting for? Warriors, it's time. Take her! <laughs> We did not kill you. The gods did. They did by denying you a son. Your blood shall be upon you for all your sins. Kill her according to the wishes of the Where is that cry coming from? It's, it's the baby. Bring down your son. Go and check where the cry is coming from.
what my eyes saw, my mouth cannot explain. Tell me, what did you see? Hmm. Okay, God. It is better we go together and see. They have fulfilled their promise to you by giving us a son in a unique way. And the child to her. Free her. What is the meaning of this? The gods are great. What happened? The gods are wise. What is the meaning of this? Igwe. The gods said no to the sacrifice. If Onyamara Bukwani Yobo today before our very eyes, the gods have fulfilled their promise to our Lord. Your wife worked by giving her a male child. I don't understand. Igwe, this baby was found in a calabash floating on the Yenku River. The calabash was held by a tree branch and the baby was crying for help. Igwe, tell me, what other way will the gods favor the royal throne than this? <laughs> The gods be praised! The gods are wise! The gods be praised! The gods are great! The gods are benevolent! <laughs> My people, this is a special child from the gods. Now let all the inhabitants of Omonkete Kingdom be summoned that they may bear witness that today the gods have given unto us a son. <laughs> and heir to the throne has been given unto the throne. Yes. 
The gods be praised. The gods are great. The gods be praised. The gods are great. That was the same calabash my wife used in carrying her ways on that fateful day. I do not know what your people are talking about. If your wife or your son is at Umoku, then go to Umoku village and look for them. This is my son, Mweze. The gods gave him to me. And not even a thousand Umoku indigents can take him from my hands. Igwe, you cannot drag with both hands that which does not belong to you. Uh -huh. He's my son, Igwe! Get out of my palace! I want my son! Guards! Your Highness! Get my son! Get them out of my palace! Guards! Do not take the silence of the gods for foolishness, guards. Be careful! He's my son, Igwe! Get out of my palace! I want my son, Igwe! I want my son! Let's go! Wagi is my son! Let's go! I want my son! That boy is my son. He's my son! No amount of pleading will make me let go of him. He's my son. Even if it means going to war with Umukitu, I am ready to get Lokiki, my son. Calm down. Nobody will go to war. Nobody. Look, we are yet to recover from the injury we sustained from war for years now. Calm down. Calm down first. In fact, this is a very delicate matter. And wisdom is required in approach to it. What makes it delicate? What makes it delicate? The mark is there. The evidence is there. She got him by the river bank. What is it that is making this simple case a delicate one? Elders, tell me. Papoja, the Igwe of Umukiti does not want to believe what you are saying. He, he must be very stupid. Eh? Yes. He must be very stupid. He has to believe it, whether he likes it or not. This is the fight of the cause. Yes. Eh? I advise you to seek your chi in this matter because no matter to fight for you because no matter how hard you try you cannot win in this matter alive or your own self so let the decision of the gods prevail yes what eh? other chi do we have what other chi do we have is it not the same chi I think I want to be left alone. No. Hey, Mbano. Mbano, where is it? There's no way I'll leave you alone now. You need me to share your burden. Okay? Listen. Forget about what they said about your birth. The truth is that you're here now. And you're happy. Okay? Doesn't it bother you the kind of love we have for each other? Is that how a brother and sister are supposed to be? Yes. Yes. I, I mean, there are other siblings that love each other more than we do. So what's wrong with it? Because for me, I, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Can you deceive your conscience?
I hope so. Oh, here he comes. You will see Santa Pom, but I will go to Bayana for you. You will see Santa Pom, but I will go to Bayana for you. Greetings, Your Highness. What did you find out? Igwe, I'm afraid there is a big problem. We know. And that was why we brought you here to tell us what the problem is and the cure as well. Igwe, into to happen, Nisi. Will you go straight to the point? What is this? Igwe, the princess is with a baby. Eh? It's again. The princess is with a baby. Hey, whoa. What hmm? did you say? Igwe, I said the princess is pregnant. Did you hear that? Hey! What are killing a woman? Hey, whoa! Hey! Wait you. No princess leaves her father's house without being a virgin. Neka. Neka, look at what your careless attitude has brought you. Never careless attitude the result. to forget in Ayaketa. Neka. One thing awaits you. Dead. Also, give up. Also, give up. Neka. of our kingdom demands that a princess must not defile her virginity before she gets married. And if any princess should defile her virginity, such a princess should be taken to the evil forest to be sacrificed to the gods. What then happens to a princess that becomes pregnant in her father's house? Hmm. Hey! Hmm! Igwe, that is a double taboo. Double taboo! Hey! Nkiti eme no mo nkiti! Nkiti eme no mo nkiti! Hey! Igwe! <laughs> the princess has brought a lot of shame upon this royal throne and upon the entire peace 
and culture loving community of women Kete. Therefore, we must not look back in dealing with her as custom demands. Hi. Igwe. You have not said anything yet. Hmm. Igwe. It is obvious that you love her so much as your only daughter. But it does not matter how much love a hunter has for his female dog. He cannot take it in as a second life. Neka has betrayed the love that you have for her, so she deserves to die. I have heard you all. This meeting is over for now. In two market days from now, we shall convene again over the same matter. What else? The tradition of this land, no one violates. You are the king. Does it mean you can't do anything to, to save our only daughter's life? You will please do something, Nabikonu. If we have to do something, please, she's my only daughter. What do you want me to do? You want me to incur the wrath of the gods? Upon me and the entire kingdom? No. Not in my time. I will do no such thing. The tradition of this land must be carried out to the very last. Don't away me. When I was warning you to keep her away from men, did you heed my warnings? Did you? Igwe, make sure no one came close to her. It would have rather kept away from her fault. It's not my fault now. Then whose fault is it? <laughs> Tell me! Whose fault is it? Who is responsible for this pregnancy? I want one no more. I want me with it. She has to die. That is her lot. Igwe, please don't say that, Mikonu. I did not say so. Tradition. Tradition said so. Of here. I don't ever want to see you again. Get out! Please, hear me out. I just want to talk. I don't want to hear anything from you. God! God! Take her out of here. And I don't want to set eyes on her again until she's killed. Out! Your daughter! 
you go in a bed I have to know what she wants to tell you. I don't want to hear anything <laughs> from her again. <laughs> Igwe, we shall proceed. Which way did they go? The yes, yes. Yes, I saw them. That's way. This way? Yes. Hmm! <laughs> If I were Today, we will speak with one voice. You, what are you doing here? You are not needed here. I have come to take my unborn child and my wife. You, you did this. Untie her now. No, she must be sacrificed. Warriors, get him and tie him.
Please forgive me. Please spare my life. Go and tell your Igwe that I have taken my own child and my wife. Tell him I have gone to look for my father, my flesh and blood, Oja of Umoku village. Tell him I say thank you for allowing the gods to use him and his wife to preserve my life. Supposed to come back after the sacrifice. Yes. There was no sacrifice. Eh? Huh? Who is my daughter? What happened? The gods are wise. The gods are supreme. Hmm. The other one, no one, no damn one, a poor one, or the other, no, 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 Na taka takwa nungo ko ta si atani o ta no na mago ma nye ni veti re nu veti ro se ma no ta na re ma na u, ha? Eh eh eh? Give me some. The lad has finally returned back to where he came from. He didn't return as a lad, but as a complete man with his wife and unborn child. What 
are you talking about? Igwe, where is the, the assumed prince who overpowered our warriors and took your daughter neck, our princess? He took her to his father, a Boja of Umu village. Igwe, where is it? is responsible for her pregnancy. I greet you, my brother. Uh, well done. Is it not the wrestler that defeated the Oja in the fight between Umuoku and Umuoketi? Yes. Please, I am looking for Oja's house. How do I get there? Today is a remarkable day in the history of Umuoku village. Come, let me take you there. Because I'm going there myself. Thank you. Let's go. Hey, Umuoku. By the time we come back from the stream, the coronation of Okoja must have ended. I really want to be present for the coronation ground. My mother insisted I would go to the stream now. And when we come back from the stream, we go straight to his house for celebration. You're right. I heard that the elders and the working the boys were following into the house. Come back first. Yeah, please don't stop. Come back to my origin, my people, my land. I came back with the princess of Umunkete Kingdom. She's carrying my child, your grandchild. Wokike. Wokike, my son! My father! Hey! Wokike! Umoku! Hey! 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 I'm 
Okay.